What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Matt Patricia's defense and a change that he is looking to make, which hopefully could help out. Let's get it started. Yo, I got a shout out Dose of Dion, man, because it was actually the first time I went live on YouTube. And, uh, you know, guys don't know Dose of Dion, he put out a lot of good content for the Detroit Lions. Welcome everybody to another video. Glad you guys are here. And yes, we are going to be discussing this Matt Patricia defense. Also, we have an injury report video coming soon. I don't know if this one's going to be out first or that one. It, I guess it really just depends. I'm kind of waiting on the Lions side of things. I have all the Jacksonville notes and some notes from the Lions. And I'm just waiting on the Lions because they always put out their uh, stuff a little bit later. But we'll get to that when we get to that. I first want to talk about Matt Patricia's defense. Now, honestly, I had the notes for this. I probably should have done this a few days ago when he actually brought this up. But I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot to talk about it. So I saw the notes and I was like, oh, snap, I need to talk about this because I saw an article which reminded me. So I went back to my notes and I had them actually written down. And I think we need to discuss this. We need to discuss what Matt Patricia is looking to do with his defense. And it's honestly maybe a reason to be optimistic because let's be real with ourselves here. The defense has been very bad, usually consistently very bad. So any changes that they make could be reasons for optimism because, well, it can't get much worse, right? So maybe this is a reason to be excited heading into this week six matchup, at least for the defensive side of things. And I think he made a lot of sense when he said this and when he explained it. But at first, I really didn't have any idea what he was talking about. So Matt Patricia, you know, he always does his weekly pressers and they always ask him questions. And he was asked about his defense. We know the struggles uh, this defense has had so far. They've just not been very good. And usually they're not very good, right? They've shown flashes. We've seen some good plays, especially against the Cardinals. But for the most part, it's usually pretty bad. And you just don't know what you're going to get from this defense. And we've broken down this defense a lot, okay? We've dove in to all the problems with this defense, whether it's, you know, players not trusting one another, which is probably the biggest thing that we've talked about. Even Durant Harmon brought that up, right? Not believing in one another, maybe not trusting that the other player is going to do his job. And it seems like the Lions are, you know, out of place a lot of times. You know, you have three guys filling one gap and there's zero in the other hole. And it's like, what the heck is going on here? And the inconsistencies is the problem because like one play, it's like, boom, they made a big play. It's great. The next time they don't. And while also some of that is execution, Matt Patricia has a little bit of a idea this bye week that he tried to implement into his practices, it seemed. And Tracy Walker and Romeo Quarrel also talked about it. And again, it may be some reason for excitement. And also, I know people have brought this up in the comment section below before, so I got to give a huge shout out to those people. Um, but just listen to what Matt Patricia had to say here. And this is something that I'm really interested to see. So Matt Patricia said this, and he said this in his presser earlier this week. And again, once I first heard this, I was like, wait, what is he talking about? But as you continue to listen to him, he made sense. We are going to try to do less to do more. That was kind of like a weird way to say, kind of a paraphrase way to say what Matt Patricia said and I first hear that I'm like okay that doesn't make any sense at all like how are you gonna do less to do more like what like we need to do more defensively so I'm really confused there at first but I really had no idea what he's talking about then he started talking about it a little bit more and it started to make a lot of sense and I actually think it made a really a lot of sense and the players even talked about it as well which we'll get into but basically Matt Patricia idea is this he thinks they're trying to do maybe too much defensively, which is causing the players to not just react and, you know, instinctively make plays and do what they do, what they do, but instead they're thinking too much and they're just not ready to do some of the things maybe schematically that they're trying to throw out on the field. Now, there's three parts to defense that Matt Patricia brings up. The fundamentals, the scheme, and the communication. Those are the three big things that Matt Patricia brings up. And when you start off with fundamentals, which is a word that he always brings up, he said we may not be ready to do some of the things fundamentally that we started off with. And I think this is a really good sign to see from Matt Patricia is that he understands, yes, we're one and three and defensively we've been awful. Something must change. Something has to change. And I like that he's recognized that and it looks like he's going to put forth a change. And I guess we'll see it on Sunday if it works or not. Um, but fundamentally, he says we may not be ready to do all the things that we're trying to do. The communication side of things, which he said was against the Saints, and that makes sense to me when I hear him say that because, okay, the Saints and Drew Brees are probably making a lot of adjustments at the line of scrimmage. A lot of things are going on. Coaches trying to communicate with players, players trying to communicate with other players, and there's a lot of talking, a lot of things going on, and trying to figure out what the heck you're supposed to do defensively. And you're trying to adjust to everything that Drew Brees can see because he's one of the best quarterbacks, so he probably sees everything, him and Shaw Payton together. So there's a lot of communication going on in those games, and then also the scheme, right? The scheme is what the scheme is that's what Corey Unlin had to say earlier in the week and again going back to the scheme here maybe there's just a little bit that too much that they're trying to implement into the scheme too early in the year okay keep in mind this is a weird offseason a shortened offseason and while yes the Lions did bring in a lot of former Patriot players there's still a lot of moving pieces there's a lot of new pieces and there's a lot of young players that are playing some big roles on this defense and I think this again goes back to the whole problem of maybe giving rid of co coaches too early and I'm not just saying specifically for Matt Patricia I'm saying in general is because it's very difficult to have players know exactly what they're supposed to do and to help you know have the other guys that are already there kind of show the other people what to do 
if you know you have new systems coming in over and over and over. Think about this. This is the first year we've had Corey Ellen. I know people don't think he's doing anything defensively, but he is our defense coordinator. He's calling the shots defensively. They mix, right? They work together on this game and draw up a scheme heading into the week. That's what Corey Ellen said. And then, you know, they, they take a look at it together. And then obviously during game day, Corey Ellen is the guy that's calling the plays defensively. So you have a new defense coordinator. You have a lot of new pieces. Yes, a lot of them are former Patriots. Not all of them, but a lot of them were. And then you have a lot of young guys playing big roles like Jeffrey Okuda, who's our top corner, like Daryl Roberts, who just came here. Right? There's a lot of moving pieces. So with this defense, I think Matt Patricia, once again, is trying to recognize from what he's seen that, OK, maybe we're doing a little bit too much and it's actually slowing our players down. One thing that I brought up when we were looking at the Lions defense was aggressiveness. I felt like the Lions were lacking aggression, you know, filling gaps, you know, going to the hole. And I was like, man, if you're just going to go, then go. If it's the wrong hole, it's the wrong hole. But go make a decision when you stand back and you kind of wait. and You're like, oh, I'm not sure which way he's going to go. All of a sudden you get blocked. and You're taking out the play. It's like, well, that didn't help at all. Running backs five yards down the field. And no one's touched him yet. That's a problem. That's a big problem. I'm just like, hey, do something. Just go through the hole. If no one's there, no one's there. But at least go somewhere. Don't just stand there. And I think that's what Matt Patricia is bringing up here is that he feels that if he takes up maybe a little bit less out of what they're trying to do and they start, start to implement that once they figure out from the base and they work their way up, then all of a sudden he can start to bring stuff back in and the players will play faster. And Tracy Walker was asked about this and he said what Matt Patricia is trying to say is kind of what I just said. You're not thinking. You're just reacting. You're playing faster on the field. And Romeo Quora also also stated that during the bye week, he said it was a perfect time for a bye week because during this bye week, that's what we have been working on, right? We've been, you know, trying to play a lot faster. And he says he seems like the team is playing much faster on the field. So that's great. You know, you have two players that are bringing it up. And again, Romeo Quora and Trace Walker have been here for a little while. So they've been part of this, but they're still with a new defensive coordinator. So Matt Patricia, I like what he's doing here. Like he's realizing that, okay, the defense isn't working. And I'm not at saying that, hey, he should go just scrap everything he knows and what he does because, of course, he brought in the players for a certain reason to play a role that he thinks that fits best so he has that in his head of what he wants to do but if it's not working it's always great to see a guy try to make some adjustments and I think Matt Patricia's adjustments here could actually work I can actually see the vision in this and what Matt Patricia is saying is that hey as time goes on if we can find the base and we can start somewhere and we have something to build off of then all of a sudden we can start implementing things back in as the season goes on but if you look at it right now what do we have to build on defensively I don't feel like we have a foundation anywhere because it doesn't seem like we have any idea what we're doing you can't rely on the run defense you can't rely on the pass defense you can't rely on a single positional group from play to play you just don't know what you're going to get and again with a lot of moving pieces a lot of young guys it's like players are just trying to figure everything out on the fly and it's sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work and players are out of spots so i think what matt patricia is doing here is great and trying to get his players to play faster by possibly dialing things back defensively and look you had two weeks to do this right you had two weeks to prepare for this jaguars team and their way of preparing may have been okay let's 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 do a little bit less let's do a little bit less and i just want to see you guys go out there and make plays okay you got paid you've done it before you've done it all your life i'm gonna put you in a position put you in a role and just go play just go be reactionary and they've had two weeks to see that see what players do with the best and then decide okay how much can we put back into this and if we can start somewhere if we can see some kind of balance defensively some kind of consistency then you can start adding things to wherever that group is and you can get more complex with it but with two weeks with this opportunity what we've seen for the first four weeks is that yeah it doesn't look like the Lions may be ready defensively to do what they're trying to do and I think if you do that the players are playing faster they're also going to trust one another that hey I'm going to do my job you do your job we're good to go and you're not thinking it's a lot of thinking for a young player it's a lot of thinking for Jeff Okuda it's a lot of thinking for all these new guys and they're just like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Even the guys have been here because new defense coordinator. There's probably a lot going on. So I like that he's trying to do something different. And again, it can't hurt, right? It can't hurt to try something new. So I really do appreciate what Matt Patricia is doing here to try to mix some things up. Will it work? I don't know. We're probably going to see maybe some of this against Jacksonville because it seems like that's what they've been working on. It's not just Patricia saying this, it's players as well. And they're like, hey, I know what he's talking about because that's what, that's what we're doing. So on Sunday, you know, will the Lions defense be better? I hope so. I hope so. Maybe they'll go out there and make some big plays. Maybe they won't. But it's something different. It's something to try because at this point, you have to try something. Matt Patricia has to win games. He's not looking at that record saying, oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I mean, I'm sure he's looking at that saying, okay, look, we had a goal to reach, and we're not in position to do that right now. We have an opportunity in front of us. We have two weeks off. Let's figure out what the problem is. And if he's like, look, man, these people aren't communicating right. There's communication issues. Um, people are really look confused on the field. Let's just take some out. Let's just, you know, kind of start maybe back from the beginning. In a weird offseason with the shortened, you know, offseason working together, everything's over Zoom, not on the field, not going through the motions. It's probably another hiccup, especially with the new defensive coordinator, right? So you bring in all these pieces, you have a new defense coordinator, and you have a short offseason. Guys are really probably behind. 
And I think, you know, this could be the right move and hopefully it does work out. Look, again, I'm not saying that it's going to work, but I do want to say I appreciate what Matt Patricia is doing here um, and the fact that he did address this and he said, look, we're going to try something different. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go down swinging. I'm not going to go down just doing the same thing. So I know people have, you know, don't like the fact that he doesn't change what he does defensively and people call him stubborn for that. I don't think it's stubborn. I think it's just that's what he wants to do. That's what he's brought in players to do. And that's what his outlook is. Actually, what the team is going to look like. He has a view of that, right? He has a vision of what that's going to look like. He shared it with everybody else. They probably have the same vision going towards something, but maybe it's just like, okay, we're just not there yet. You know, we'll slowly kind of build onto this and uh, hopefully we can do well enough because honestly, if our defense would have played better in some of these games, we probably wouldn't be one and three. And we played some really good competition. Like our offense is good. Maybe if we just make a couple more plays defensively, we can get back into it. So hopefully this is what we see on the weekend. Hopefully they're playing faster. And I'm honestly excited. I'm not going to lie with you guys. I'm excited to see this. So what do you guys think? I mean, I think this is great. I really don't see a problem with this at all. And uh, yeah, hopefully it works out. I mean, you've had two weeks. The Lions were able to not only focus on the next opponent. Because here's the thing, when a regular week, you don't get to just say, okay, let's go look back on the past week. You have two days. You literally practice Wednesday and Thursday. And Friday's a walkthrough. That's it. That's all you have on a normal week. So Lions have two days. And it's not like, okay, let's go look back at last week. Like those two days, you're saying, okay, we got to focus on our next opponent. We got to get going. So you're not just resetting anything. Now you get that extra week. The Lions come in and they're like, all right. We took a look at this, you know, we watched it on Monday, watched it on Tuesday, and we're like, okay, now we have time, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to try to mix things a little bit differently. We're going to try to do things differently uh, on the field and let you guys go make plays. So hopefully the playmakers go out there and have some big games, and hopefully the players play faster, and that instills some confidence, and players are trusting each other, because I think, honestly, that's what the Lions are missing right now. I think they have the talent, they have the scheme, it's just we got to believe in one another, and hopefully that's what we see. Let me know your thoughts, comments below, thank you for watching, and I'm out. Are you kidding me right now? I had to put my helmet on for this one. Are you kidding? Look at this. Look at all these members. What? What? Yo. Hey, shout out to all the members, man. Look, look how many all pro members there are. Like, literally, it's the whole screen, dog. This is crazy. The patrons. Of course, the Hall of Fame members, man. Y'all got the gold color. It's kind of yellow, but it's supposed to be gold. Shout out to all the members, man. If you want to be a part of this, all you got to do is join the channel. But... There are perks that come with it. Stay locked in the community tab if you are a member because that's where a lot of information comes out. I appreciate all of you. What?